Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making banana bread. So what you will need for this recipe is two large eggs, 140 grams of softened butter, one teaspoon of baking powder, 140 grams of caster sugar, and three ripe bananas. So for the mixer side of it, you're going to need your paddle attachment, which looks like that. And yeah, let's get on to the video. But before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Okay, so guys, now I have 140 grams of sugar in my measuring cup and 140 grams of softened butter on my scales. So you're gonna to wanna to put your butter in, with your paddle attachment and all of the sugar. With all of that that's now in your mixer, with your paddle attachment, you are going to want to mix it until it's light and fluffy. So I um, scraped down the sides once in that and now it will be a nice light mixture. Make sure there's no lumps in it, otherwise it won't be very nice to eat. So I'll take this out of the mixer and fold in the rest of the flour. I'll show you whilst I'm doing that. Okay, so guys, now I have two large beaten eggs and 140 grams of flour. You're going to want to put all of the egg in and a little bit of the flour, so nearly like two quarters of the flour, so half of the flour in the mixer and mix it. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so guys, now it's all out of the mixer, it should look bit like this kind of colour so now you're going to want to fold so you don't get all of the air bubbles out you're going to want to fold the rest of your flour in add it little by little so it's a bit easier to fold in a bit too much okay, so guys it will now look like a thick mixture so now you're going to want to get your three bananas you can use two bananas depending on how banana -y you want it or how many you have at home but i prefer three because i like a really banana -y loaf okay so guys you're going to want like, it doesn't matter if there's going to be brown bits in your bananas, because that's just going to add extra sweetness to your banana bread. So you want to use overripe bananas, so it gives extra sweetness. So whilst I'm doing this, you're going to want to remember to mash them all up with a fork. You can use a whisk, but I don't think it works as well. You're going to want to mash them all up with a fork. I'll see you after I've done that. Okay, so now, guys, your banana should look a bit like this once they're mashed. It looks a bit gross, but it won't when it's a banana bread. And you're also going to want to get one teaspoon of baking powder, and we're going to want to put all of that in. Okay, so now, guys, one teaspoon of baking powder. Put that in. And... Add all of your banana, put all of that in your bowl. Yes, guys. Now I've got that, you're also going to want to fold this in so you don't get any of the rest of the air out. So let's fold that in and I'll see you after. Okay, so guys, now your mixture should look a bit like that. It should be pretty thick, but it also should come off the spoon with a little bit of encouragement. So just get that fully mixed. Scrape down all the sides. Okay, so after you've done that, you're going to want to get a tin. I'll go and get mine and then I'll show you. Okay, so guys, you can either have a, th a thinner banana bread 
but longer or a thicker banana bread but shorter I prefer thinner but longer so I've already greased my long tin doesn't really matter what size as long as it covers the bottom so well, it doesn't overflow so now you you're going to want to just grease it with butter I've already done that so now you're just going to want to tip all of your banana mixture into your tin Don't worry guys, I did wash my hands before I did this, so. And you're just gonna want to spread it, just make it all even around the tin. Make it all even. Put the bowl to the side for a minute. It should look like this. So, now your oven should be preheated. I have my oven behind me. So, I'll go ahead and put that in and then I'll tell you what heat to put it all on and what gas mark or what fan. So, let's get into putting it in the oven. Okay, so guys, now the cake is the banana bread is in the oven. I'm going to tell you what the what heat to put your ovens on. So you need to put 180 for degrees Celsius, 160 for fan, and gas mark four. So I'll see you in 50 minutes, or until my cake has been pierced with a skewer and it comes out clean. So I'll see you when my cake's like that, and then I'll show you, and then I'll cut it and then you'll see. So 50 minutes or until it's golden and the skewer comes out clean. Okay, so guys, now my banana bread, I will show you, is out of the oven. I will show you how the skewer should be coming out. You just poke it right in the middle. It should come out a little bit misty. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. But it should come out like a little bit misty, otherwise it's not done. Well, it's overcooked, really. And it should be, if you guys can see this, it should be springy to the touch. So I'll show you once I've cut it open, it needs to just cool down a bit. So just leave it in the tin for a bit, let it cool down, just take it out, let it cool down. And then you can, like, cut into it but don't cut into it straight away okay so guys this is the out of the tin i'll show you so it's a bit better out of the tin i think it's still a bit soft so i'm not going to cut into it at the moment okay i'll cut into it in a little bit but i'll just let it harden for a bit i'll put it in the fridge so yeah i'll see you once it's fully cut and i'll do the taste test Okay, so guys, now I have fully, it's done, and I didn't really film the taste testing of it, I'm sorry, but I will show you what's inside. So this is what it looks like inside, it's meant to look really fluffy, like that, and all crumbly if you just stroke it. So as you can see, it's very crumbly by what's on the plate, but hope you enjoy, put in the comments down below if you, if it worked for you.